Oh, well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Half-Life. Hope you guys enjoyed, um... Enjoyed Valiant Hearts in the meanwhile, but now it's back to business as usual. We are playing Half-Life. Later this week, there will be some more fun with Yakuza's. That's Yakuza, for those not in the know. But for now, back to Half-Life. We were captured last time by the military, and in... A momentary lapse of judgment, they decided to leave us alive. Well, not quite. I mean, they were trying to kill us with a Bond-style death trap, which we evaded within seconds of being trapped in it. Interesting. There's a level down there. Wonder if, wonder if we can go down there, or if we ever go down there, or if that's just uh, window dressing down there. I don't know. In any case, hold on. Where did this game? There we go. That's the quick save. We are now in residue processing. We have been. We have been, yes, we're still missing all of our equipment. We have been um, de-equipped. That's why I kind of feel like this is the halfway point of the game, because you get like a reset equipment-wise, and... Oh, oh dear, here we go. Oh, thank goodness. There is no fall damage in water in this game, which already when I played this game, I knew is not true. Do not try falling into water from a random height. It will end poorly. Hey, this is the room we were in. Yay. Cool. So anyway, yes, uh, that's why I kind of feel like this is the halfway point where you get reset equipment-wise. Although I'm not sure if it is really the halfway point. I do also want to split this game into thirds. In which case, this is the second third and the, um, the final third would be the Zen levels. But that's more due to feel than any, like, actual gameplay length because definitely... We're talking about the last three levels in the game when we talk about the Zen levels, and that's a uh, very little... That, that'll make more sense once we get there. Get there. To those of you who have not played this game before, you're like, what's he talking about? Zen? Some Buddhist themes in this? No, 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 no. We'll get to that when we get there. But, um, yeah, that's only like uh, three levels. No, I'm sorry, four levels. Um, since two of them are, well, yeah, well, okay. Get to that later as well. Um, but in any case, uh... oh, oh, okay. We can avoid that uh, slice him smashing thing over there by going over here. Okay, cool. So in any case, um, yeah. But more than more more than the thirds, I do feel like this is the halfway point of the game. Again, I don't know if that matches up with the actual. Uh, game time or length of levels. It's just a feeling due to the fact that we are um, reset with our equipment And this this whole level Well apart from being a real like tricks and tracks avoid these puzzles level. Oh God not that way um, We have to go in here. Yes, we do No, we don't now we're just back here mm. Apart from this being yeah, like this kind of like environmental puzzles, if you will. Uh, there's a crack in the water there. That's that's not supposed to be there. It's also, uh, we need to, like, um, scavenge all of our equipment back that we lost last time in our previous in our previous episode. And we're not doing so hot. We've only got the uh, crowbar thus far. I'm not convinced that we fit underneath there, but, like, um, ow! Oh god, I'm being burned by those flames. Okay. I'm not convinced that I'll fit underneath there, but... Uh, I guess we can make a quick save and then try. I'm like, where, where do I go? There's nothing here as far as I can tell. Oh, I jammed the machine. That's kind of funny. Nope, just going in a big dumb circle here. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, never mind. You could fit underneath that wheel. That looks like something that's like an instant kill uh, point, but nope, we survived. Now what's over here, then, if we go over here? Because there was a place to climb up over there. Oh. Well, there's a lot of places to go around here. Yo, we get the magnum before we get the pistol? I'll take it. And some satchel charges. In lieu of grenades, I'm sure I can find some use for those. Oh, cool. <laughs> we stopped the machine. Oh, we're back here. Nice. Don't know what the 
uses to come back here, but now what I want to do is... Oh! Oh, the current blows us away. We can't actually swim back, which means I need to take the long way to get back to that one room. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I can do this. Now that we know that uh, it's safe to swim underneath that grinding gear, like there's not really much to worry about now, is there? Just gotta avoid the uh, these flames. I don't know. I guess this is how you process residue, quote-unquote. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't know what the process really entails in real life. But it makes for a good level, I'll give you that much. Oh, okay, that's just a uh, another... That is a second shortcut that brings you back to this room. That's cool. Half-Life has not a ton of... Not a ton of shortcut porn, but some amount of it. What? Where am I being shot from? You dirty creature, you... Hmm. Did those switches affect the... I think they affected the uh, conveyor belts? There's three of them and there's three switches. I don't know. So apparently these only turn off for a moment. Okay, there we go. We had to operate this middle one to take us up here. Oh, oh god. Oh god! I really, really did try to aim for that ledge to minimize damage, even though if I had simply dropped onto this conveyor, I would have avoided damage altogether. Uh, one of those split-second decisions that was not so well thought out. Oh, 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 oh there we go. Oh no, more of this. What is? <laughs> Are we in the powerhouse all of a sudden? Dun 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 uh, hazardous waste. Okay, let's not go down there. Let's instead go over here. Oh god, another pit of hazardous waste. How do these conveyor belts work? If you mind me asking. Oh, okay, they convey stuff from somewhere over there. We can't get to. Let's not. Let's keep riding the conveyor belts for now. Oh god, more hazardous waste. I was gonna ask, how can this place produce so much hazardous waste? But it is, uh nuclear test facility, so... Yeah, sure. Oh god, last furnace. I'm being cooked alive! Uh, uh, no! I was doing a really good job there, but, um... The slippery Gordon, so slippery, the slippery bugger. Um... Okay, now I'm a bit lost. Is this where we started? Huh. This looks completely different from where we were a second ago. Well, there's a door here. I guess I'll take a breather. I think... I think we were going around in... Oh! I think we were going around in circles for a while there. Um... Wait, is this the beginning of the area? Oh, okay, I think... Oh, I think we... Ugh. Ow! Son of a fergalda. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot to check how few my bullets are. That's a problem. I actually need to use the crowbar on the head crabs from here on. I can't waste those magnum bullets on head crabs. I will put down a bull squid from afar, though. Ah, full health. That's nice. That will serve me well. Okay, now we're back here, just as I figured. So that's a this is a reset, this stairway. Get back here. And also that one conveyor we took was apparently a reset. I need to be careful not to take the same one again, or we'll just be going on in 
circles and circles and circles all day. Oh god, this is the blast furnace. Oh, ooh. Toasty. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh god. Okay, so now let's take this one, because I believe I took that. That's a... Uh, uh. Ugh. That's all my bullets. I don't know what I should have done to stop that explosive if I... But I'm sorry. Oh, okay, we can just take it. We can just take it like a man. All right, then. Ah, grinders! No, it's still a fun level. Trust me, guys. It, it's goofy fun. Being hoisted around with conveyor belts and other horrible stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on now. We don't have to go all the way back, do we? There's a... Okay, yeah, of course. There's a ladder here. Okay. <laughs> like, jeez. I was... For a second, I was worried. You had to do the whole conveyor belt shenanigans. High radiation area. Oh, boy. Let's take this one. For the hex of it, see where this one goes. Um. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume the rightmost conveyor would have taken one of the top ones. Really? Well, that's one headcrab. There's a lot of headcrabs just for Let's just. Take the plunge, as it were. Oh, barnacles. My old friend. Ah. Uh, oh, thank goodness this friendly barnacle saved me. Oh, this is a problem. This is a real problem. Is that radioactive waste gonna break my fall once I kill this barnacle? Well, it did, actually. The problem is that stuff killed me quick-like. Let's not deal with the head crabs. Let's just drop on down. How? Ah! Okay. Jeez. Half-Life can be a little unforgiving. We've discussed that in the past. There are moments of... Brutality. Oh! We missed a level name there. It's Questionable Ethics is the level name here. That's a curious name if I've ever heard one. Oh no! That's gonna be a problem. So many hound eyes. Oh jeez, do I have the health to beat these hound eyes? Oh jeez, oh jeez, how do I do this part? Should I try? Oh my god. I don't know if I have the health to deal with that many, and I don't have the equipment either. Let's try it. Okay, if we do that, I'm left with a little bit more health, and if I do this jump, then, then we make it, okay? Now I have 56 health, which I guess we'll have to do. Questionable ethics, yes, there we go, now we get the name of this level. We've done with residue processing, but I'm still lacking most of my equipment. Okay, now I... Wait a second, I do have one equipment. Ow. Oops, I pressed the wrong button, okay. Hello. Damn, I forgot all about this satchel charge, but it totally saved my bacon this time. Amazing, wow. I would have had a ton of trouble beating these guys with just a crowbar. Whew, thank goodness I had that satchel charge. This is this is a curious room. These all look like dog pens. And I, oh, nice. Magnum rounds. And I wonder if you count up the number of hound eyes in this room, does it match the amount of these uh, dog carrier things? Food for thought, hmm? No, but this level is actually a second, like, big twist level. The first big twist level was we got hostiles, um, which the twist was that the military showed up, but they were also bad guys. 
So, so this one also has a big twist, but I never really paid attention to it on my first couple of playthroughs as a kid. I only realized how clever it was uh, years later because they don't spell it out for you. So we'll see if you guys notice it as we progress through this level. Yes, we've made it back to the um, science facilities. Thank goodness. That's a that's an improvement over. Whoa! You are an ugly fella. It is an alien grunt, I believe. No, alien drone is the name of this guy. How did you get stuck in there? It's almost like you were... Wow! Jeez! Oh god, homing bullets! And it took like three shots to die. Woo! So this is an introduction to a new and terrifying enemy, the alien drone. Oh, alien soldier? Alien grunt? I... Which one is the exact name? I don't actually remember anymore. He's a step up from uh, the Vortigaunts, the alien slaves. He's, um... Not not nice. Uh, let me let me real quickly check what the official name of this guy is. H L Alien. No no no. Is it Alien Drone? Alien Grunt is what uh, Google fills in for me. Alien Grunt is the right name. Okay, I remember it being Drone and Soldier were the names bandied around back in the day, but um. This one says it's the alien grunt. Let's go with that. Cool. Yeah, as you notice, this guy was in some sort of, like, test tube thing. Also, if you smash this button open, that also, I believe, releases him automatically. But he also smashes through if you let him, like I did. Um, so that seems deliberate, you know? That wasn't like he was an accident in there. And this... This is a straight-up testing chamber. Look at this. There's a bunch of head crabs in this fence. What the heck? If I have uh, any inkling of what this big pointy thing here is gonna do when I press this button, there will not be very many head crabs in this room. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Should I maybe back off a little bit? Okay, and that's how you take care of head crabs. Now this is a testing chamber, look at this! Just to drive the point home and, uh, like, you know... Soldier! The military, they're back here! Where did he get off to? It's no good up there, it's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Well, I'll try, but more than that, you freaking killed a soldier, Barney? That's impressive. That's... that was a really good job. I mean, I did soften the guy up with my uh, Smith & Wesson here, but um, the fact that you killed him... On top, very nice work, Barney. So yeah, I'm like, I'm kind of embarrassed that I never po got these hints as a kid, because it's so obvious that they drill in the fact that um, the scientist at Black Mesa had prior knowledge of the um, of the aliens. It was not a freak accident. Like, well, it was a freak accident, but it was not like the first contact, because they had these facilities built to handle these. Um, Let's get the hell out. These aliens here, and oh yeah, we got the got the M4 again. Like they had prior knowledge of the aliens, they had time to build all this infrastructure um, to like do testing on them, which is why this level is called questionable ethics. And that's supposed to make you like go like, oh my god, what was going on in Black Mesa? Like Gordon was being kept in the dark about all these experiments. Um, and I actually mentioned a couple episodes ago that that. Um, the scientist who talks about the ichthyosaur, the, the fish monster, he, like, telegraphs that because he's like, that creature hasn't existed on Earth for a week. Like, you know, the accident did not happen a week ago. And he kind of he kind of spoils that early. And I never realized that until we did this playthrough, that he spoils that, like, early, that there's already been... Yo, the front lobby of Black Mesa, cool. Crap. Where's the other one? 
He's starting to kill Barney. Oh, that was a live grenade. <laughs> I am dumb. I did such a good job killing these soldiers, too. Oh, yeah, shotgun soldier. Where's that beret guy? He's the... There we go. He's dangerous. He can shoot the, those impact grenades, the M203 grenades, so... Okay. Them dealt with them. This is the retinal scanner you, scanner you mentioned, and you can't open it. You need a scientist, eh? Okay, well, we'll find one. Okay, we got the shotgun, we got the... Uh, assault rifle. We're starting to do real good in terms of equipment now. We could really use a gun we can shoot underwater. There's gonna be some underwater segments, but we won't worry about that for a while now. Um, so yeah, that's like, um, that's another, that's the big plot twist in this level is, um, yeah, the, um, this, the whole alien thing is not news, not to everybody. Like, they've been, um, they've been, um, working on the aliens for a while now. And, and, and I love that that scientist spoils it. Like, that's so cool to notice little details like that. Um, afterwards, because I, I, I just... This this game is, like, even better than I thought, really, in that sense. Like, there's, like, surprises, like, uh, two decades later. Oh, another experiment chamber. Oh, God. What? Barney! Why? Why would you do that, Barney? Don't worry, Barney. Well, okay, I guess I suppose I could let Barney kill the little of them same ammo, but he was gonna get bopped for a second. Oh, okay, the crossbow. Well spotted, Barney. That's why you wanted me to open this. Thanks, man. I can use this too. What the heck is this? I. Oh, I forgot all about this. Wow, I forgot this entirely. So. Oh, that's funny. That's a funny animation. So this critter is called a snark, and I guess we haven't encountered them yet. They are little tiny aliens which will eat, basically, uh, basically eat whatever you, um, whatever's nearby, including Gordon. So you don't want to throw them around in an empty room. They will come after Gordon um, if there's nothing else. But you can totally mess with, say, a group of soldiers, like that voice you just heard. And I'm not gonna press that button, that's gonna fry Barney. Yeah, look look at that, it works as a distraction too. I didn't use those a lot as a kid when I played this game, because I was like, ugh, snarks, those are tricky to use. But, you know what, I can see the, the utility against these soldiers anyway. We'll give it like a little bit of a go. Oh, okay, that's a shortcut there, okay. I love that they place these two soldiers here right away so you can test the snark on them. You can see how well it works. And I believe snark is the name. Just spare the snark, if you will. Well, this room looks like... Huh. They really don't want me going over there. I wonder if I can... Uh... Nope. See? It, yeah, he comes after me once... Uh... Once he decides that there's nothing else to eat up, so... Oh wow, what, what took this guy out? He was setting up all these uh, bombs? Well, I mean... I can just do that. Uh? Oh no! Two of them! Soldiers! Okay, you guys take him busy. As you can see, his... As you may have noticed, the alien grunts bullets like home. They, they actually have a, basically what's a beehive for a, for a hand. And that allows them to basically... That allows them to basically like um, shoot like homing bullets at you. The hornets will fly after you. So a, the alien soldiers are a real pain to deal with when they show up. Uh, adding to the fact that they have really high health. Uh, they're pretty damn sturdy, those lads. Okay. Good ambush. Good, or, well, you know, good good attempt at an ambush, but um, I, I got full armor. For the moment I had. Well, what's this other way? Ah, decisions, decisions. Which way to go? Wasn't there another path? 
Oh yeah, this way. This is, where was this? Where's the, what's up here? Oh, interesting. You could have just um, watched here the soldiers and the alien grunts fight. Yeah, the, that's uh, it's an it's an interesting uh, weapon. The um, the hive hand, I believe it's called, and we'll we'll get to see that a little bit later. But for now, we just need to really just we're just gonna feel the pain from those damn things um, as we run into more and more alien grunts. This is a very strange operating room. What? Why would they, like those are surgical blades, I suppose, because they do damage if you run into them. But wh what would you dissect like this with a freaking carousel wheel of hurtage? What? What? What is the utility of that? I, I, I have one of these things. I, I just oh, now that is a good ambush. Like. They knew that if I keep bashing these, I will um, break this one down. And I best, best sheer dumb luck, I decided to skip around. Wow. <laughs> damn, those, those damn the USMC, they're good. How did you guys get in there? Oh yeah, because, again, because the scientists have been doing quest experiments of questionable ethics on these things. Alright, that's a lot of shotgun shells used, but, um... And does this go back to... Yes, this goes back to the main lobby. Again, a lot of fun with shortcuts. I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, the plot of Half-Life is not very meaty, not very, like, complex, but there's, like, these cool little moments, like these little plot twists mixed in, and it's fun. In that sense, I feel. Yo, Snark, have fun with them. Okay, that's cool. Sn I, I, for I forget do Snarks attack aliens. Let's give it a test. Are you gonna go after that bull squid? Yes, he is. Okay, you can have Snarks attack uh, aliens as well, I believe. Boy, that's a lot of you over there. Oh, I, I, it's sad, but at the same time, really heartwarming. That that more noise that uh, those uh, bull squids make. Oh yeah, you're still alive. No, you're not. Hold your horses. I'll take care of you. Okay, there's a freaking laser going that way. I turned that on, but um, I actually forget what the. Is this a puzzle? Whoa! Much too unpredictable. Don't let it overcharge. Well, what do you mean, overcharge? Well, someone was having fun in here. Oh god, they're just look at these skeletons here, these skeletonized. Look at this, it's our first energy weapon. This is um I forget what this weapon's actually called. It's basically a laser gun. I'll have to check what it was called, but it's basically a laser beam. Whoa! So, yeah, if you hold left button... I just wasted a bunch of ammo. I know. If you hold left button down, you can just shoot, like, um, a series like that. If you hold it down, you can, like, charge up a big old shot. Well. Yo, listen to this music as we got this weapon. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we can't play with the laser beam for now. The charge cannon? Whatever, whatever it's called. Nope, can't get in there. So, that's gonna have some utility in some fights. And also, as you saw, I believe it can shoot through walls. Cause you cause we got hit by that one guy shooting, the, the Barney in there shot through the wall. I think I think it has the ability. We'll have to test again once we um Although I don't know how we'll test for that since it's hard to see if we can hit anything through a wall, but Okay, two laser beams coming this ways. I press this button. Hmm. This is a really good beat. I really like it. 